insane. I mean, let's cuddle. I mean, why do I look so insane? My groin, honey. The vagina is the inside. Yeah, just filth. I just am so grateful. Oh, what'd you say, Ma? Look at her going through my stuff. Teeth. I use them. What should I do with it? Wow. I dang. Is it by force? You traveling with your flashlight? That's the part I don't understand, y'all. She's over here going through my my lippies. Cause she wants a red. You can take all the reds because on me, when I wear red, I look like you and I don't like it. <laughs> Cause then I look 65 or 66. I don't want to look, I don't want to look 66. I want to look young. <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, wait, you're going to wear that color? That's a light color, granny. That's not going to work. Uh, those are clear. But the one you just took, it's gonna come off like a cream. It's not gonna look good. Look, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I need that. I have to use that. I haven't worn it yet. It's a lip stain, but those are not the colors you like. Yeah, so I finally broke out my fabric steamer because my baby made a mistake on the couch and he's just the sweetest. He told me he made that mistake. He got this marker on the couch, so that's what it looked like, and I've just sprayed this, but now, this is what it looks like. And I've been trying to <laughs> clean it. I've cleaned the couch a few times already, and it's looking good. I'm, I'm watching it actually, Sunny. So this is the steamer. I'll link it below if you want it. And then I'm spraying with OxaClean, and I've washed it several times. And I'm still I'm still doing it. This, this looks really good, because it was really dark around here. You can still see it faintly here, but. Yeah, Gusu. Yeah, Gusu. There's a small spot over there, too. Also, here's an update in my bedroom. So, moved this over here and got these two chairs. They're so cute from Amazon. This is Amazon, also. I'll link all of this below. I got books here. And then this is a light to <laughs> light up the books at night. Just the cutest, all right? And I'm going to hang this. This is just makeshift. I'm getting two new nightstands that's just been makeshift forever. Anyway, so this is going to go on the wall. I need to just hook that up right now. Oh my gosh, I think this area looks so cute already. I think it looks so cute already. Area to come to in the morning. Devotional, reading, what have you. I love it. I don't know if I should put a rug right here to give it a little something i don't know comment and let me know i feel like it looks dry it does need a little more pizzazz Yo, so let me tell you one thing about me i'd rather and i've said this before i feel i'd rather sweat than to freeze it is mad hot out it is literally a hundred and maybe what three degrees because <laughs> literally at home i had a robe on and then in my studio the space heater like what is life so i'm like let me come to the pool and the way i'm sweating i'm gonna get in the next time the whistle goes off because the whistle goes off close to 10 minutes to the hour to give it's a potty break or break whatever so when it goes off again i'm gonna get in the pool to cool down a little bit because what i like to be outside i'm not complaining but let me tell you it's hot out here I'm likely gonna do maybe 30 more minutes and that's it. I'm listening to music on the noise, how do you say it? Noise cancellation? And I'm reading this book which is so good. Even if you're not in a relationship, jaw dropping, groundbreaking. It's called Getting the Love You Want. It is so freaking eye opening. God, it is so eye opening. The part I just read that was so outstanding for me was when in relationships, in the beginning everyone is meeting each other's needs and then there comes a point I feel and the book says it in every relationship where it's now like let me step back and get what I feel like I have not gotten all my life <clears throat> but then <laughs> that's where the conflict comes in you feel what I'm saying so the book is really good I love it it's really really great oh god almighty mm. girl if steamy was an experience this is definitely it yo 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 Oop, why do i look like this why do i look so insane yo okay so i have not done my hair i'm about to go do it 
now shower and all of that but one thing I wanted to say is so I'm going to dinner and I have my outfit already ready it's this dress from pretty little thing it's a it's I bought it a while ago maybe what a year ago now it's too big on me but I'm gonna wear it one time and get rid of it the straps are loose but I'm gonna just wear it and make it do what it do today one of the straps is loose which is it's, I'm sure it's because it's been hanging, so it's been pulling. Okay, that's number one. And then I dug out this old <laughs> half up, half down from the closet. And I was going to do the detangling method that I showed you all several months ago where you spray with downy, what, fabric softener and something. But I honestly do not feel like it. So I was like, damn, I need to buy some more of my half up, half down situations because, you know, normally I will stock up so that when I need something, I already have what I need. And... <laughs> then i remembered that in this case right here i had one more i have braiding hair in here you know my whole situation first of all i got all these old pieces here which i need to go through because some of these just need to go in the trash but then thankfully i did have one of these and i might even have another one tucked away but i do have one so i'm not gonna detangle that that's annoying but amazon less than 30 dollars. i like this ombre version of it i've bought this a million times and to me yeah I could have the natural hair I don't feel like looking looking into it this is great because it's already curled I don't have to do anything to it and oh my hands are ashy ew and it's less than $35 so to me it just feels like I'm I've gone to the hair salon to get my hair done so I'm gonna put this hair on today so let's start getting ready what up what up what's up I'm about to wash my hair you heard me because <laughs> oh, let me take this AirPod out. Listen, I've been living in these AirPods. Okay, praise the Lord. I'm about to wash my hair because you know that whenever I change my hairstyle, I wash it because my hair is more easily manipulated when it is wet, when it is hydrated. So I do a lot of co-washes. I shampoo whenever I feel like it, which is normally at the beginning of the month. And of course, I detangle. I'm detangling more these days than I used to because when I take too long to detangle i'm getting too many tanglies you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna co-wash my hair that's what i mean by washing it and then i'm going to do my half up half down style because i feel like it i want something different i would do a wig but you know it'd be hot like it'd be hot it's different if the wig goes in the evening but then if i have my hair braided down then i got it unbraided to change the style like, whatever anyway i don't care i just feel like doing my half up half down right now and i'm going to co-wash my hair to get that thing on and popping and i have a new product or two that i'm gonna wait is this it no wait is this it this is a healthy scalp serum is this for dry hair this is from madam cj walker Ooh, it will be my first time using it okay dry or damp hair directly onto the scalp okay i'm gonna put that into my hair i'm also going to use this balm to oil product for a wonderful it says for a wonderful hair and scalp i said oh wonderful i'm annoyed okay let's get this on and pop in and go from there oh and then i have therapy too so i'm gonna be on the therapy call as i do my hair and my makeup you know, I'm still in therapy. It's been two years and it's a humongous blessing. By the way, I chose the give I chose the giveaway winner and mentioned her on YouTube. But do y'all be seeing your YouTube mentions? Because I don't know how else to find her. And I haven't heard from her because I wrote I messaged, I commented back to her comment on that video my therapy video because I was doing a giveaway and told her to email me and I haven't gotten the email. So actually that's a reminder now to choose someone else because I chose her maybe close to a month ago. So it's been some time. Okay, I, I have to choose somebody else. And somebody else didn't take advantage of it. If you check your notifications and, and if you're selected, it's one month free therapy. That's what it is. Okay, so I actually need to shave my face. So let me do that because I have been stalling on this and it's unreasonable that I have been stalling on this. For so long so let me shave my face i'm going to wash with thayer's <laughs> ph balancing daily cleanser then i'm excuse me i'm going to cleanse let's get this together i'm going to use a cleansing balm okay this is the one from bad habit because i have spf on in my skincare then i'm going to cleanse my face with this thayer's product then i'm going to exfoliate because that is the next step before the actual shaving to prevent ingrown hairs and all that stuff. So I'm gonna use this Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Although I do have another one. Let me use that one instead. This one is a 
Should I? Whatever. I'll just use the daily portfolio. I have too many options. This is also a problem. All right. And I'm going to do some. And then I will shave my face using this tweezer man, tweezer, razor, not tweezer. It's a tweezer man, razor. I can't do it. Okay. I'm trying to go fast because I have 30 minutes to shower, wash my hair, and shave my face and put on my skincare and then talk to my therapist. So I'm just like moving a mile, 10 miles, 10 miles a minute. Okay, let's go. Okay, so girl, I am headed out, all dressed. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. It's old, but it still fits. It's also pretty big, but it fits. I need to get more evening bags because I just could not figure out what bag to wear. And then these shoes are big on me since I lost weight. They just feel very wide. <sighs> I need to do more shopping. Off we go. Okay, so you know how I normally, I'm here at Juliet. It's cool. Dang, it smells, yo. <sighs> the smell of weed is just everywhere. It's annoying to me. Why is it like that? That is so annoying. Ugh. I do not like the smell of weed, okay? That's me. I usually do valet, but I'm not right now because there's nobody here. It's a Monday. There's nobody here and <laughs> there's no need to valet. Like, just look around. <laughs> there's no reason. So I just parked right there and now I'm walking. Thank you. This is your favorite. I know. Our, <laughs> our fa yes. favorite. Oh, you smell good. What do you have on today? shaved I'm on my way right now to go to my second laser hair removal appointment I'm now at the eight week mark because at the six week mark what was it I was somewhere I couldn't I don't know I had to reschedule and then they they didn't have an appointment until now so I'm gonna go do that now and of course I had to shave a shower a shower so I can shave so I can have a fresh shave so you shave every area that you want lasered and I'm doing full body so it's anywhere on my body that I want to shave so if you didn't see my first vlog where I talked about this then I I'll tell you now I'm doing Brazilian which is front and back I'm doing legs arms armpit mustache chin what like the, not like I'm doing the chin and I already shaved my face yesterday so I'm gonna actually add my sideburns today she said you can add whatever you want each time and the reason why you do six sessions is because some areas might be good in, in one session, some areas might be good in two sessions, some areas might take the whole six, you just never know. And she's right because I only had one session and my armpit hairs do not grow like they used to. They do not grow like they used to. And even in my on my vulva, is the vulva the top? The vulva, I, I learned this recently and it's really true. We do make the mistake of calling everything the vagina. No, the vagina is the inside, it's the canal, you know, it's the inside. Uh, but the vulva is not the top whatever okay in the brazilian area there are certain places that are bald there's nothing growing and then there are other places there are other places that are growing so it's true <laughs> you never know what's going to take on the first hit you feel me which is to me so phenomenal just pulled up about to go inside i feel so dry i hate it i hate feeling dry but here we are what am i gonna do <laughs> 
And if you're wondering where I'm going, I paid my own money. So I plan on sharing when it's all done and I have something to say. Hi there. That's a, that's a spicy area. Wow. Yes, there's snickers. <laughs> <here. laughs> <Whew. laughs> okay. Will we have that ice? Yes. Oh. You okay? Mm-hmm. I can tolerate it, but I'm like, oh yeah. Mm, I recall the burning. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, it burned. And then the smell of the hair. Can we do this side first? No, but let's do it. Okay. <laughs> if you have sensitive teeth, just put your tongue over your teeth. Um. There you go. That one's not as bad. It's the it, it's down here that's wow. <laughs> I'm glad it's done though. It's all worth it. Sending chills down my down my body. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, bikini. Where is my ball? Have oh my god, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Side is done. Oh, okay, good. That was fast. Are you ready? Yeah. Right on the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. I know it's spicy. At least it's just okay. one, one, one. We're done. Yeah. <sighs> oh my God. Yo, the butt crack is like. <laughs> <sighs> but I'll never. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. This is the best 9:15 of my life. It's a must. It's a must. Mm -hmm. Look at my arms. my armpits they look so good and I've been exfoliating so my armpits are not as dark as they used to be yo so I don't watch TV often unless I recorded some show right and I certainly don't watch a lot of Netflix but I just so happened to watch the man from Toronto have you seen this? This is absolute insanity. Don't make sense to me. What is his name? Kevin Hart? I can't stand him. This is so stupid. This movie is so freaking stupid. It is absolutely stupid. And that... <laughs> I know that it is intended to be stupid. And it is entirely stupid. You can't even see me well. What? <laughs> Yo! This makes no sense. Swallow it. Have you seen this? <gasps> oh no. Yo, he's supposed to be he's supposed to be a killer. <laughs> oh my god, this is dumb. <laughs> I heard you were the best. Yeah, just what I do. No. I was watching a YouTube video and this was mentioned in the video so I ordered it on <clears throat> on Walmart grocery delivery and it just came so I look forward to trying it out Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream oh my gosh I, like this, this movie is so dumb dumb 
but I'm still watching it because now I just want to know how it ends. It is abs it's an absolute waste of time. That's how dumb it is. So I just finished eating wings up, which wasn't really good. I, the wings were undercooked. Now I don't know if they want to rush. I don't know what happened. Then I put it in my own air fryer and it just didn't taste the same, but it's food. So I praise the Lord for that. I have this two piece set from Amazon. I just filmed a reel with <coughs> a reel with it. So I'm sure you've already seen it. If you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, make sure you are doing that. And I'm watching Tanya Marie's vlog from Sephora Squad, the event in LA. I'm going to attack her below. That's my girl. You got to watch her. She's hilarious. She's definitely a reality TV star, but also Whew, what up girl oh my gosh it just feels so crazy let me pause this music so a few things my skin has been skinning can you see you know i don't have the sony the sony has a filter on it where people can be <laughs> smoothing out their skin it's fake okay i have the canon g7x and just look at my skin it's the sun's going down outside hence all the orange but I want to share with you a big meeting that I had today. So I have been praying for God to send me help for my business because I want to scale. I want to do more and doing it by myself is just not going to work. Yes, I have an editor. I have an assistant. If it's not already clear, I do have an assistant and she's fantastic and I need more help, right? So... I've been praying for God to send me the right type of help, the right people, the right, excuse me, the right people, the right person. And that may or may not be in the works. So today I had a big meeting regarding that and it was just so phenomenal. It's just, it's just mind blowing to me to even be in this position. You know that it's been two and a half years since I started my LLC, which is now an escort, which is just, it's just big moves. Like it's just big moves, you know, it's just big moves and I'm so excited about it. And that meeting was today. What else did I want to say to you? Oh, I get a lot of questions about my skincare. And it's hard because it's such a loaded question to answer when someone's like, tell me your skincare routine, help with my skin. It's like, <laughs> there are so many things that I use and have used over the years. There's no way I can, can explain all of that, you know? And there are so many videos and I don't know that everyone is ready to watch all the videos back, but in a nutshell, I'm gonna just say it here so I can be like, watch my last vlog. In a nutshell, I have rosacea. I haven't used my prescription in quite some time because for some reason my skin has cleared up and I'm just thanking the Lord Jesus. I've been on keto for many years. I did take a little break, but I've been on it for a long time. So I can't imagine that it's the keto, although I just, I don't know. So outside of my prescription cream, which has in it retinol, tretinoin which is prescription grade retinol it has tretinoin clindamycin which is for rosacea i have acne rosacea and then it has in it niacinamide right yeah okay so that's the prescription but other than that of course i use a cleansing balm i use cleanser i use a gentle cleanser which one do i use i use so many different things i have a different skincare oh my god it's getting dark right now i'm gonna <laughs> get up and change this but i have a different skincare package in my suitcase than i have in the bathroom and i have different skincare in my closet when i'm getting ready in there versus at the counter which is in my skincare fridge so i have so much that i'm using all the time and of course i share as much as i can what i'm using on the day of of. and then of course there's eye cream and then there's serum and then there's perhaps another serum so in the morning maybe I'll do hyaluronic acid serum and a vitamin C serum then I'll do a moisturizer plus SPF so one product that has two in them but if I'm trying out new things I might do a moisturizer and an SPF separately so you get it it's just I'm trying so many different things out all the time <laughs> it's hard to be like this is what I have used to get me to this place there are a lot of things that I have used so I do encourage you to take some time and brush yourself up on my videos obviously it's easier to search videos here on youtube than it is to search on ig we used to have igtv where i had series folders or series i don't know if they're still available i know on tiktok i have been making folders so just brush yourself up on those girl there are so many i've come a long way but obviously it's important to have a skincare routine but what i can say is because i have rosacea i do i do not take lightly the idea of having a doctor so i do recommend that if you have 
something going on with your skin that you're just not able to get, to get a handle of. Perhaps you, perhaps you don't even know what it is. Perhaps you have some, am I blurry? Okay. Perhaps you have some sort of rashes or something that you just don't even understand. Go to a dermatologist. Curology offers online, what, virtual assistance with the, with the, what do they call them? With the medical care provider, right? So you can do curology. It's a nurse practitioner, I believe. You can do curology. It's virtual, okay? And the prescription is way cheaper than it is with my, if I were to go to a doctor using my health care. But that's just in my situation. But get a dermatologist, okay? Go in person, somewhere, somewhere, you know, whatever. My dermatologist is not black. That hasn't been a requirement in my case. But get a dermatologist if you have extreme dark spots, like really dark spots, right? It can be a little bit light, but sometimes what is that noise? it can be so, so dark that it's a problem for you. Then perhaps you want to get a dermatologist because they might, they might recommend a chemical peel for you. They might give you something that has hydroquinone in it to lighten up your, your, spa your face. So that perhaps might not be something you get over the counter, although I think you can get hydroquinone over the counter. I just don't know. So... To me, everyone should have a dermatologist unless you just have really, unless your skin is at a place where you are happy. Let me not say you have good skin, right? Because what does that mean? If your skin is at a place where you are happy, then perhaps you need a dermatologist. But what I'm trying to say is you can do all of the over-counter steps that we all do. And perhaps whatever your skin concern is never gets fixed, never gets, never gets to where you want it to be. The key why is, why is this blurry? The missing component might be the dermatologist. That is the point I'm trying to get across. So I'm about to edit this weekly vlog. Not this one, a different one. Oh, God. I'm sitting on the floor because I don't always want to be on the couch. You feel me? The sun is going down, so this lighting is terrible. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm about to do this. I'm calling it a nizzy. That means a night. Call it a good nizzy. You feel me? Don't those lights look so good up there? Oh my gosh, just amazing. I'll link them below. Just the picture light, portrait lights. They just look so good. Why is it so dark again? Is this better? Am I lighter here? Okay. Just, nope. <laughs> this is the same thing. I'm so annoyed. So I'm back here on the floor because, I, you know, I like sitting on the floor. It's pretty cool sometimes. I'm back here because I'm gonna edit again. Nee's taking a nap. He had swimming class today, so took him. We're back. And one thing I want to share. So <clears throat> what was so sweet, and I've always known this about him, but I'm ever reminded, which is just such a great thing, that he is such an affectionate boy. And I know that God specifically made him for us and specifically made him for me because I am a very affectionate person. So I'm the kind of mom, for instance, that is always like, I love you. You're amazing. You're so smart. You're so courageous. Mom, like, oh, is that a stain? She's just lamb. Maybe you made it. This is, I just washed these. Oh my God. I just washed these. Oh, mind you, I washed all of the covers in the washing machine. I was trying to do the whole machine thing, which does work, but I was trying not to wash them because I was afraid that my washer would stain them because I've been having issues with stains in the washer, but that hasn't happened and praise God it did not happen. So the, the covers look very, very good, very white. Okay, so he's the kind of boy that's very affectionate, which I love. And I love to nurture that affectionate side of him. I'm not the kind of mom to be like, go sit down, go, go sit down, oh my God, like get off me, let me breathe. No, I'm very much like, yes, give me hugs, give me kisses, let's cuddle, all of that. Because that is my personality and I thank God because that is his personality as well. So I say this because this morning I wanted to get up early, but he very much has been like, and he, he always is like, mommy, let's cuddle. He came, into the, he came into the bed last night. Mommy, let's cuddle, cuddle with me, hold me, give me hugs, give me kisses. You're the best mommy in the world. I love you so much, all this. And where I used to get frustrated years ago when I would want to get up early and then he would want to lay down and cuddle, lately and as of a few years, I've realized that every day is not only a blessing and a gift, but I also need to cherish all of these little things because when he's 16, he ain't going to want to lay up and next to me and cuddle me. So it's such a blessing and a gift that I'm like, you know what? If I don't get up early this morning, but I get to lay and cuddle with him for an hour, I have to be very grateful for that because these are times that I'm not going to get back and they make him happy and they do make me happy too. So I say that because that happened this morning, that happened yesterday, and they're just such 
precious moments that again we don't get back we don't get that time back and i'm always so grateful that god gave me a boy that is like him because geez why is it so dark this is annoying it's probably still really dark but that god gave me <clears throat> a sweet affectionate boy like him because it feeds my soul again not everyone is like that not everyone parents the way that i do and it is what it is i'm just so grateful that for us it matches it matches so well because he just makes me so so happy and i just am so grateful of how affectionate he is it's just, it's just the sweetest thing it's the it's the sweetest thing i remember <laughs> wanting to be a girl mom so badly just so i could have a mini me right and um god knew god knew and i'm just so grateful because i wouldn't have it any other way than to have a boy that just eats me up you know he just eats me up and i just eat him up too he's just the sweetest most precious thing in the whole world and I, I wonder what it would have been like if he were a girl you know but uh he wasn't and I'm grateful I really am all right let me start editing this video because like wowzers yo I always forget how amazing it is to watch YouTube videos on my TV because this is a 4k TV like wowzers so yeah I'm editing a vlog and watching Tamara and I in 4k mind you so the quality is insane See, I love what she's saying. Girl, your skin looks amazing in 4K. But she's like, I'm going to wear foundation in the summertime. Same. I'm going to wear foundation. Like, what you mean? It's either no makeup or a full face with foundation. Oh, you know, I don't have Pat McGrath Labs. You guys know the consistency of this foundation. It is super duper runny. It's so liquidy. Oh, so it's highly concentrated. So using this is so good and so great during this time i've never tried this oh um, she it likes it because it's thin it's season, thin but in consistency so but i wonder if it's highly pigmented yeah. like the i used to have one from oh my gosh George, was Giorgio armani oh my i paid mad money for it but it oxidized on me and i was gray but it must be very because thin can still be full coverage if it's highly pigmented. Let me watch this, excuse me. Yo, yo, good morning. So, currently lotioning with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. I've used this at night and it is definitely lightweight in my opinion. It's fragrance free. This is it right here. Uh, I sprayed my face, but it's starting to feel dry because I've been using it and it is very light. I think great for the daytime, but because we lose moisture in our bodies at night anyway, for my skin at night, it is not enough. Let me know if you've tried this because I recently got it and I do enjoy it. It doesn't leave you with a shine of any sort. It literally just melts right into the skin. I just sprayed my face again. I have still been loving this Lumi deodorant stick i use it on my armpits because i'm not looking for any fragrance in my armpits so this unscented stick is great because what it does is prevent odor and then i put it on the side inside of my groin honey no odor of course in addition to the bha product watch my video on how i maintain body odor okay and this is a body spray because this is a fragrance free lotion so this is the sal Janeiro, sal Janeiro tropical nights this is new right i got it in pr i'm gonna spray it on my arms really all over the body honey i'll be doing this and i'll be doing a fragrance i mean this is a fragrance but you know and i'll be doing a, a perfume you know i mean why not mm. Mm -mm. And then the dress I'm going to wear today, I've worn before. It's from Amazon. It's going to show my neck. So, my <laughs> neck, obviously. It's going to show my chest. So, when I put it on or after, before I put it on, whatever, I'll make sure I oil my neck with my SPF oil so that my neck looks nice and hydrated and dewy. That's a nice trick you can do to make sure your skin looks glowy. Because, like I said, this just melts into the skin. It looks dry, but it's not dry. Look, it's not shiny. And brown skin looks good when it is shiny. So, me, you know? Now, I've already sprayed my face twice to maintain the hydration since I was doing things, right? But this literally just came in the mail today. This is Thayer's Hydrating Milky Toner. Now, you know, I don't normally use a toner. Oh, this is milky. This is nice and thick and milky. I normally don't use a toner because I just don't. There's nothing really to it. There's, I have so many things that I could be using on a daily basis that I just don't always go for a toner. But 
I want to try this because this is, like it says in the title, supposed to be hydrating. It's got snow mushroom hyaluronic acid in it. It says that it cushions and smooths and plumps, is that what it says? And preps skin. So here we go. This does feel hydrating. I suppose I could have just used my hands to apply it onto my face, but it said to use a cotton pad, so here we are. I mean, I feel like I'm putting on a hydrating product, so yeah, this is hydrating. I don't feel dry at all. Lovely. And good to know that my skin is not dirty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay! You know what, too? Let me clean my ears because... Ooh, and anyway. Ah. Maybe. You know I have skincare products here and in the closet, so I just have stuff all over here, under the sink, and in the closet, okay? And in the studio. So I wanted to get this Noxzema Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads. This has salicylic acid in it. You saw me do a sponsored campaign with them, and I explained to you that it's good, obviously, to clear out the pores on your face to prevent acne, right? It clears, up, it clears out the pores, kills the bacteria, which causes acne. Now, I like to use something such as this on my ears and the back of my neck after I wash my hair because I co-wash my hair all the time. And what that does is leave a film of conditioner on my skin. And I don't feel like, I don't, look at that. I mean, that is dead skin too, but it's also dirt. <laughs> I don't feel like soap you know body washes gonna do the job because if you're like me you use hydrating body washes so yes it does clean our skin i do use a supple body sponge which i'll link below i have a discount code i'd be forgetting to tell you and yes that will exfoliate the skin but come on now you gotta do a little something extra because look at this cotton pad like back of the neck and back of the inside the ears and stuff look at this filth okay hello hi i like using something like this because i have the first a beauty ones of course and then i have these obviously this is more affordable i'll link this below good for the face for sure that's the whole point of it but then i like to make my stuff i like to stretch out my stuff and use it where i can like i've used that under my well it has menthol in it so not that one in particular but i've used the first a beauty one under my armpits because why not kill the bacteria in the pores that cause acne and odor so on the body it will cause odor because it's a closed area trapped sweat bacteria combined fumes <laughs> okay so hopefully that wasn't confusing. Hopefully it was more educational for you. Now we've done the toner and I am going to do another serum. I'm going to do a serum and then vitamin C and then moisturizer because I just feel like it, you know, it's not an absolute requirement, but I just feel like it today. So I'm going to use the hyaluronic acid serum from the Inculus. My ears feel wet, but <laughs> it's because of what I just put on it. So this is really affordable and really good. You know, I've used this time and time again, baby. And you really could just pat, but I'm so used to doing the wipe thing, but whatever. Now I am going to pat in the, oh, I got to do my eye cream. I am going to pat in the vitamin C oil because it's an oil. And the last thing I need is for this stuff to start breaking up and stuff. Okay, eye cream is Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, baby, baby. Taking the ring finger. Rubbing it together. Make sure you're using your ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Make sure you're using your eye cream. I said ice cream. You scream. You all scream for ice cream. Can't even do it. Make sure you're using your eye cream. Love bugs. Very important. And I know that I used to do a lot of rubbing with my eye cream. You don't need to be doing that much rubbing. Just put that thing in place, godly, you know? Put it where it needs to go, baby. And this is a brow product that I told you that I'm testing. I've been testing it for a while now, you know? So more to come on that. Praise be. This is the Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. Waterless, meaning it's very oily. And I love that about it. And because it's an oil, I'm going to pat it in because I, like I said, don't want to disrupt what I already got going on. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And it's still gonna do the job. You feel what I'm saying? Vitamin C plus SPF, such a great partnership. 
during the daytime partnership such a great partnership you know just like really good like I'm gonna, oh we're supposed to bring all this to the neck and the chest i'll be forgetting sometimes in the back of the hands because the back of the hand we show on signs of aging and i know that aging is natural but still we want to make sure that we're tackling the net and do tackling the net <laughs> tackling tackle ah you're kind of saying tackling it uh-huh we want to make sure that we're tackling it. You know what I'm saying? Doing the best that we can or whatever. Okay, the inside of my ears do feel wet. I don't like that because of the wipes. So let's just tackle that because that's not going to work for me. You feel what I'm saying? It's just not going to work for me. Now, let me get my moisturizer SPF. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. I've been going through this one because it's just really good. Are we still using an excess amount of SPF? I hope we are, but let's be honest. Some days I'm in a rush applying this stuff, so I don't be using a lot. So I'll be, be honest right there. I'll be honest. You'll see. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but you do want to be applying an, ample, applying an ample amount. This is clearly a chemical sunscreen because of the way that it is melting into my skin without much manipulation. If it were a, is it, I get, I get it confused because it's chemical, mineral, physical. Which one is which? God almighty. There's too much going on, okay? There's just too much going on. I think it's mineral. Mineral is a chalky one, right? <laughs> Not me asking you. There's just too much. Too much to be thinking about. Okay. And obviously I'm going to do more just because I want to get the shine when I put on my dress. It's a low V. It's really cute. It's an Amazon. It's an Amazon selection. Okay. Boom. That's the SPF. Now let's do my hair. You've seen me do my hair time and time again. I'm going to show you again just in case. I'm going to show you again just in case you are interested or you are new around... If you're new on the street and you want to know how I do my slip back, I'm going to show you for that reason. You know what I'm saying? So I co wash my hair every time I feel like it. Every time I change my hairstyle, it's a co wash in order to get it in its more easily manipulated state. Okay. And my hair has been silk pressed a number of times, which has led to my curls being way more loose than they've ever been. And I actually enjoy it a lot. Yes, you'll see straight pieces like this that I don't care about. You all care about that more than I do. I don't care because hair is hair. I've chopped off, I've shaved my head in my head. Why did I say it like that? I have shaved my head twice. So... If it's not already obvious, hair is just hair. It's an accessory. I do with it what I feel. You feel what I'm saying? So that doesn't concern me. I'm going to oil my hair with this Bread Beauty Supply oil. I love to have a shine, even though I'm going to lay the hair back. And then I have a product that I'm going to use to fill in my edges. Hi. So taking an ample amount of oil, because I've already co-washed it, and I've put a leave-in conditioner in my hair that was in the shower. I have that in the shower. And now here's some oil to make sure that even when I lay it down, it's gonna have a sheen to it, you feel me? I wanted to get an oil sheen, but the thing about a product like that, if you're not careful when you're spraying it, you're gonna have oil on your face. Oil sheen, oil on your face, you don't want that because then you're gonna have clogged pores and acne. Have you ever had a breakout on your hairline? That's because of your hair products. So, Spraying oil sheet on the face? No, ma'am, because unless you cover your face well, you're going to have oil on your face. You feel me? All right, so to, I, <laughs> I switch between a middle part slick bag or a side part slick bag. And today, that's crooked. And today I feel like doing a middle part slick bag, whatever. This is actually crooked too. Hold on. Yep. You take me just as I am. You choose me all over again. Oh my God. I have not finished today's vlog and here I am <laughs> recording another vlog. Oh Lord God Almighty. I am the one you love. I am the one you love. I don't have to prove anything. There's room at your table for me, for me. Yeah, no better. <laughs> I 
in the world. I always use the Eco Styler gel because whatever. I've tried, I don't know what the other one was that I've tried. That joint, did it leave me crusty? I don't know, it's been a while. So I've just stuck with this and I love how the container is humongous, okay? So I saturate my hair with the gel. Am I concerned about anything? Nope, because don't forget, my hair on my body is an accessory, praise God. So I just saturate this because it needs to be saturated. It needs to sink in through the dense parts of the hair so that when I brush it, down it will stay you feel what i'm saying if i don't use enough gel hello how is it gonna lay down it needs to lay down and i do this on damp hair because hello damp hair is more easily manipulated you feel what i'm saying now like i'm saying something the question is do you understand <laughs> do you understand or do you not because if you don't then we got a problem so saturate this baby it's not going to be completely dry by the time i live my life and that's okay <clears throat> the more the less dense parts of my hair, i.e. the front, will be dry, which will give me the flat look that I want. All this in the back will still be damp and that's okay. Life still goes on. And because my hair is, because my curls are much more stretched out than they used to be, it lays way easier. So it's, it's flatter. When I say easier, the lay, is a lot flatter and I like for my slick back to be flat okay now I brush it with this dense brush hard freaking brush you know what I'm saying and I haven't done all those wibbles in a while I don't feel like it and then we take it out and smooth it all down and gather it again keep smoothing it out And then and then I just twist and go around nothing crazy I'm not gonna add any piece to it there's no point it's not what I want I just want to slip back I'll just do it twice this does not need to be excessively tight all right <clears throat> slick in the hands slick at it with the hands I mean excuse me and then the next part is very important because I've done it without this part and it just doesn't ever look the same. It doesn't lay down the same. It doesn't hold the same either. In fact, I've done it with the hairspray too, but it's not next to me. So I don't often use the hairspray. So the next part, well, there are two next parts. <laughs> so the second and the third part is going to be the got to be glue. I use the black one always. And then I have my wrap strips. That's the third part that I'm saying. Let's take out three of these. I buy these in bulk. They're so great. Linking everything below, of course. I take an ample amount of this got to be. Buy more, okay? It comes in a three pack, the one I buy at least. And I used to use the edge brush and go section by section, but then I realized the value in doing it like this. Not only is it faster, but again, I get to smooth it out with my hands, which on my hair really does something. So pressing it on and smoothing everything back. I'm not gonna get the back of my neck because I don't need that to be hard. Just the top up here. And this is really smoothed down. Granted, my hair, I did, what you call it, I did detangle my hair two day, three days ago so it really is laying flat because it's detangled so you know there's that look how smooth it is if I had to go somewhere right now I could go and trust that this is gonna hold but of course to really get it to hold is when I is when I use the wrap strips and we are really doing something you feel what I'm saying so I'm not gonna do those swivels today because I just don't feel like it clean my hands real fast so that nothing curls up stretch it and tie it down
And as you can see, I'm not from Naturalista to give you Naturalista type styles, whatever that means, you know, because it doesn't take away from the fact that I'm so natural. This is just how I choose to rock my natural. And that's what I love because here's the thing. I don't need anybody to tell me how to be a natural to be a naturalista i'm gonna be and do what i want to do you feel what i'm saying so this is just what i do and what i do is what i want to do with my hair so it's either a slick back bun a poo uh, what's it called a high bun top knot top knot or it's braids it's a wig yeah that's usually what it is half half down and a style whatever i feel like doing all right and then i keep this on for i never count <laughs> I never count because what happens is I do my makeup and then when I get to my contour is when I lift this back in order to make sure my contour is in my hairline and usually by that time just let me take the whole thing off. That's the length of time that I usually keep these on. And that's it baby. off and then what I've been using lately I share with y'all on social already is this color wow product I went and got the black one because I do have the dark brown but I feel like the black is more fitting for the more dense part of my hair I don't know if this will allow you to see better or what I put you over here in hopes that you'll be able to see better so here's the brush that it comes with I dab in to the product itself and just take a look, right? You see right now, I took off the eye patches. You see now how light it is. And I go at an angle and I'm filling in that way so that it can look natural. I'm not going too close to my hairline because hello, why would I want to do that, right? And it does take some time to build it up, but I like that because I wouldn't want it to look too fake. So I need to go slow in order to fill it in but can you see already you can already see a difference you have to notice that like you have to be able to see that can't you like wowzers i still want to look natural i can do some more so if you're wondering do i use the mascara anymore nope i use this because it's a lot easier look at that look at the now i'm not saying that both sides looked the same but you could tell. <laughs> I know you could tell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ew. And now let's do this side. I could actually put this over the gray hairs that I have right here, but I'm not going to. I've been enjoying. Why don't you want to call a gray? They're white hairs. I've been enjoying my white hair. I really have. I think it's cute. Every now and then I do feel like pulling it out. That's because that's just how I am. I will pick a scab, I will pull it out just because I'm looking at it and I want to pull it out. But do I have an issue with being white, having white hair? No, I don't. I was going to say gray, but it's not gray. The hairs are not gray. The hairs are white. They're not gray hairs. The hairs are white. It's not gray hair. It's looking good to me, baby. The thing about this though is that at night, I have to be cautious that because I have white satin pillowcases, it will come off on the pillowcase because I'm, I don't wash all of this off at night i get into my hairline to get my contour product out but i'm not i'm not washing all of this so it do be like on my pillowcase and stuff but whatever you know just wash it off y'all still looks still looks natural to me but definitely definitely a difference oh mm -mm -mm. See, that's why I don't care about my edges. <laughs> oh my God, like whatever. I mean, uh, it's hair, like leave me, leave me alone, you know, leave me alone. All right, now I'm gonna actually film. <laughs> Although I'm drowsy, I really don't feel like it. What if I just decided not to? <sighs> it's already almost two o'clock and I don't film this late because I be tired. So the idea of filming right now is such a turn off to me. <laughs> 